Mayor Johnson says he plans to make a trip on his or make a trip that is to the Mexican border. Johnson recently had a meeting with Mexican leaders, says this trip, though, would allow him to see for himself the unfolding disaster that is wreaking havoc and hardships in Chicago and New York. Governor Pritzker says the visit could provide valuable insight. It's important to develop relationships, one on one relationships with the folks who are on the ground doing the work in Texas. Um, I'm not talking about the members of the Abbott administration or the politicians who are making these decisions, these dehumanizing positions uh, and decisions. Um, that I'm talking about the folks who are actually doing the work of feeding, clothing, providing shelter for people on the ground. Prisker says relationships with volunteers on the border gave the state advance notice of multiple buses that arrived in Chicago this week. And just announced the U.S. will resume deporting migrants back to Venezuela as large numbers arrive at the southern border. It comes just weeks after the White House extended temporary protection to half a million Venezuelans living illegally in the U.S., allowing them to work here. Republicans warned the move would create an avalanche of new Venezuelan border crossings. The Department of Homeland Security now wants to expand the border wall. And this is something that President Biden campaigned against and has doubled down on throughout his presidency. Caroline Elliott, live in El Paso, Texas, with more on the planning. Caroline, this is certainly a departure from what we've heard in the past. Yeah, Natalie, Anthony, of course, we know that this is a lot different than what uh, President Biden campaigned on earlier in past years. We know this announcement marks a significant change in policy from the Biden administration. We know that the DHS Secretary Mayorkas has been pressed on the border over and over again, and he's always said that the border is under control and a border wall is not necessary. But of course, we're now seeing the DHS Secretary change his mind. Now, this announcement lays out plans for uh, to begin with construction of 20 miles of border wall in the Rio Grande Valley in East Texas. The costs are already covered by funding uh, from the Trump administration that was passed in 2019, but the money wasn't used because President Biden again pledged to not expand the wall. Today, President Biden maintained the border wall does not work despite his own DHS secretary saying there's an immediate need. We believe that a border wall is not effective. You heard that from the president. We have asked Congress to actually to actually help us, you know, uh, use these funds in smarter, more effective ways. That's what we've asked for. They refuse. Now, the Biden administration will have to waive 26 federal laws to begin construction. And at this point, it's unclear exactly when that construction of the border wall will begin. Guys.